to a brand new video here today. What I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to get 60 FPS in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 for the PC SX2 emulator. Um, it's pretty simple. You're going to have to make your own code basically unless you can find a code that will work for your system. Um, it's easier just to make your own code in retrospect. So there's going to be a few things down in the description below. The first thing you need to do is download something called PC SX2 Converter. This is a very, very simple program to use. We're going to use this to transfer raw code into code that the PC SX2 converter can read or emulator can read um, and we're gonna need a raw code so I was searching the forums and I found this listing uh, or this thread and big shout out to Asaga or uh, Asaga or Asaga I'm not sure if I'm saying that right dude but you're awesome um, this is the code we're gonna use to enable 60 FPS in our game so basically what you want to do is you just want to go down in the description or if you're on this forum you want to click copy on this particular code you don't need any of the stuff above it that's that's pointless <laughs> so the next thing what you want to do is download PCSX2 converter if you haven't already once you've downloaded it just open it and run it you want to make sure you choose the PCX2 cheat converter application and you want to hit control and V on your keyboard to copy it over into the left side so we can close this out right here and we're just gonna scale this down and basically what we're gonna do is we're not gonna change any of the functions down below so you can see it's already on convert and it's already on extended we don't need to change those we just wanna click convert alright so that's pretty simple so what is this this is the code that the PCSX2 can now read we just need to save it into a file format like a text document now you could make a text document like so like we click text document and we write if you know what your CRC is so if you know how to find your CRC you just want the code you could literally just take this and put it in there with the title and your SLUS you could do that or you could do it this way which is kind of easier so what you want to do after you've copied this and you converted it you want to click save and it's going to ask you for three things down below but first take note of what's on the screen here so it says stick all the codes you want to convert in the box and put game name ID and CRC the game ID should be in this format example SLUS underscore 190.38 what does this mean it's asking you for three things so first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in need if I disable my caps lock need for speed actually you know what we'll do caps on each letter or each uh, word hot pursuit 2 alright so once we type that in we now need what's called our game ID and our CRC to find these things open your PCSX2 and make sure you have your show console on now you're not gonna find this in here until you run need for speed hot pursuit 2 so we're gonna click boot full fast or CDVD fast and we're just gonna let it load for about 10 to 20 seconds so let's let this load once it's I'm not gonna exit out until it's fully loaded alright so that is loaded do not close out this window because they will close your log or your uh, what is this thing called your console out so make sure you're in your console you're gonna have to use your wheel to scroll up but basically what you're looking for is this whole thing right here what's this what is this well there's a couple things you want right here this right here your SLUS um, that is considerably your game ID so what you want to do if I can drag this over without being dumb you want to click copy on that so I copied SLUS underscore 203.62 just like the format is explaining up here right so we're gonna paste that and then there's gonna be a second number we need and it's something called our game CRC that is right below us here now you do not want to copy I repeat you do not want to copy the zero and the X what you want is the numbers and letters after it up until the comma so click copy on that we'll click paste on that and basically that's all we need from our console so we can close that we can close PCSX2 
And now we can go back to this. So now that you have these filled out, and mind you, your game ID and your CRC might be totally different, so if you're just copying the numbers I'm putting in, it may or may not work. I'm just putting that out there now. Next thing we can do is we can save it. Now you can save this to an exter uh, to a, like if you make a folder, you can save it to that folder and then copy it into your documents folder in your PCSX2. You can do it that way. Or you can save it directly to the folder and that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna click save pnatch. We're gonna keep it named whatever it is because it's gonna go by your game ID and that's what you wanna keep it as. You're gonna go to your documents and you're gonna find PCSX2. So open that find cheats not not cheats ws this is a whole different folder just cheats we already have it in here but i'm going to save it and i'm going to replace it anyways once you're done with that it should say save complete now we can exit out of the converter and i can move these out of the way the next thing you want to do before you start your game is you want to make sure if you open up pcsx2 go into system and enable your cheats. If you do not enable your cheats, the patch will never get run, ran or run, and it just simply won't work, and you'll be wasting your time all along. So make sure you have this enabled. It helps a lot. Um, like I said, I didn't make this code, so I can only I can only show you my level of hardware. I have an i7, a GTX 970, 16 gigs of RAM, so it runs pretty well. There is some places where internally it lags you can't really notice it unless you really pay attention but for overall it's a better experience than what you get um, from the vanilla game so what we're gonna do is we're gonna boot the CD with cheats enabled and at this point you're basically good to go but if you want to check to make sure that your cheats loaded open up your console and scroll up and you'll see in green here it'll say found cheats file the pnatch file you put in loaded one cheats from the pnatch file under the place where you put it it'll say overall one cheats loaded that's how you know this worked so we're gonna turn down the sound for some reason it likes to reset the sound on me every single time and we're just gonna skip through that and I'm just gonna show you guys that it works just for benefit of the doubt I am running this at 1080p with uh, I think 8 uh, 8 level antiscopic and FXAA shade boost. I got a lot on this right now, but we're gonna be the cop. And let's go with, I don't know, the M5. And let's go to Ancient Ruins. Because that's the last track I played. And up, actually up in the corner, if you want to know if it works, you'll see right here, that's my SLUS. That's my game ID. You see how these are both matching the codes we put in? That's because that's what we needed. It says playable. We have one fix on. That's my widescreen fix. Don't worry about that. And then we have one cheat, which should be the cheat that you put in. And if we run this, don't mind my, uh, County, all units. my lovely, racing terrible uh, texture glitches. But basically, as you can see, we're running at 60 FPS. 19 County, in pursuit. Vehicle is a black sports car. I copy 19. Nineteen. All right, guys. So we're just gonna put it on, and that's just to show you guys that it works. Um, so, in all fairness. Be thoughtful with your level of hardware. If you're running like a Pentium with 2 gigs of RAM and, I don't know, no video card and you're using onboard graphics, there's a good chance this isn't going to help anything. This is actually going to make things a lot worse. Because basically what you're doing is you're telling the, you're telling the emulator to run 30 more frames than it's already doing, which is going to be a lot harder. With higher level of hardware, you're going to see better results. It just kind of works that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a long one. I really want to make this video to show people that it's not hard to do this. Um, I will leave a download link. I'll leave everything in the description you need. So the raw code, the download link for PCSX2 Converter. If you want to download the PNATCH file I'm using and just put the file over and hopefully it works, you can try that. I don't think it'll work. I've never, I don't know if it does or not. Um, but if you somehow have the same version as me, go for it. It won't hurt anything. Um, and yeah, you can do this with any code, any code, any raw code you find that'll do like, let's say a 1080p fix or like something, it'll fix something. You can try it. It'll work as long as you do it right.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you guys for letting me explain this. I'll see you guys all next time. Until then, have a good one.